the magical power of large language models come from their ability to understand and encode the semantic meaning of the words sentences or documents into vectors allowing for the rapid and accurate retrieval of information that is semantically related to the input query even if the exact words are not present in the target document this approach significantly improves the relevance and precision of search results compared to traditional keyword based search methods vector search in llms refers to the process of transforming textual data into high dimensional vectors or numerical representations and then using these vectors to perform similarity searches this technique is employed to efficiently find the most relevant information or answers to the queries within the vast data sets now there are a lot of use cases around this for example it is particularly useful in natural language processing nlp applications such as semantic search document retrieval and question answering systems marco is one vector database or vector platform as a call it according to the marco team it is more than a vector database it's an end to end vector search engine for both text and images vector generation storage and retrieval are handled out of the box through a single api you don't have to bring your own embeddings at all which is great vector similarity alone is not enough for vector search we all know that vector search requires more than a vector database that is so true it also requires machine learning deployment and management pre processing and transformation of inputs as well as the ability to modify such behavior without retraining a model marco contains all these pieces enabling developers to build vector search into their application with minimal effort there are a lot of features of marco which you can check out on their website and also on their github repo which is here now vector databases are specialized components for vector similarity and only service one component of a vector and search system so that is vectors in vectors out that's it and but they still require the production of vectors management of the ml models associated orchestration and processing of the input marco makes this easy by being documents in documents out pre processing of text and images embedding the content storing metadata and deployment of inference and storage is all taken care of by marco in this video i am going to show you how you can get this marco installed locally if you don't want to install marco locally you can use their marco cloud and i will drop the link to it in video's description so let's get started for this purpose i am going to use my local ubuntu system which is running ubuntu 22.04 as you can see on your screen now the first thing we need to do is to install the marco through docker so let me first clear my screen and installation is simple so make sure you have docker installed if you don't know how to install docker then i have various other videos where i go through docker and um, show you step by step how to install it okay but for this one i already have docker installed let me show you quickly the docker version so this is my docker version now in order to download and run marco just pull the docker image which is marco ai press enter let's wait for it to finish and you can see that it is downloading the docker layer and as per uh, marco's best practice they are saying that if it fails we need to allocate more memory to docker and um, increasing the memory limit for docker to at least 6 gb or 8 gb recommended fixes the problem so let's see if it uh, for me it works or not if it doesn't we'll increase the docker memory so let's wait for it to finish so layers are being downloaded and then extracted should not take too long and then you can see that this one is around 4.1.049 gig which is almost done cool and this one is 2 gig Yes. So you can see that it is all done. All the Docker images have been loaded, and now run it locally. So I'm running it on port triple eight two. Let's run it. Let's 
wait for it to finish run it is waiting for the vector store to start and because i'm running it first time so it didn't find any existing vector store so it is setting it up and the vector store is running and it is also <coughs> downloading the marco artifacts let's wait for it to finish and this will be the one time of course and now it is installing open clip which is an open source pytorch library uh, that stands for contrastive language emit pre-training but while we were talking you can see that marco is installed and it has started the server process and it is running at port 882 now let it run in this terminal let's jump to another terminal and install marco client so same server another terminal in putty simply let's say pip install marco i think it is just marco i believe let me check before yeah this is the marco so let's install it shouldn't take too long to install that's it you can ignore this warning these are my other systems so if i do pip show marco it should show me the marco's latest version there you go so marco is installed awesome stuff let me clear my screen and then we will see marco in action after installing marco's client all you need to do is to run this code in order to use marco and let me walk you through so what is happening here is we are importing marco which we have just installed we are creating marco's client on the same local host on this port where we just installed it we are creating the index just to give it any name and then we are adding documents in this index in the json format so there are few documents as we just have added them in the free, uh, free flowing format title description title description mobility and then we are just giving it some tensor fields and then we are getting the um, results by just searching for this what is the best output to wear on the moon and then we are storing the results in this one and let's also print the results so let me just say print and results let me save it and then this is all you need to do so documents in documents out written and then we can simply run it by doing test marco.py which is my python file here so there you go you can see that i just ran this command and it has given me this result from the description what it has found as per my query in that file so this is how and this um, is how easy it is to run marco on your local system and then again you don't have to worry about all those embeddings and stuff all you can all you need to worry about is documents in documents out and then this is their marco cloud as i showed you you can just check more about their cloud here where you can do a lot of things like it is the fastest way to take your existing code to production simply update your url and api key to all of your existing code so if you don't want to run that docker image on your local system you don't want to deal with all the memory issues and stuff scaling issues and you don't want to uh, run your own apis and stuff all you need to do is to go to their cloud just spin up this marco there and then it will give you an access and you all you need to do is to update your url so instead of going to the local host and that's um, the other you know um, url which i just showed you let me show you again this one i meant instead of doing that you can simply just use their url from their cloud and start using it how cool is that so it depends upon the ease of use and stuff so now let's have a quick look at the pricing now in the pricing open source i just showed you and then with the cloud it is around 86.5 dollar per month and for a 30 day month 0.1186 per hour not that bad so the features are that all open source functionality fully managed cpu gpu support scale yeah this is i think this is the best thing scale at a click of a button because i can after working with vector databases i can tell you very safely this is one of the biggest issue we face when locally hosted so if you are confident that you can manage this locally without having to deal with scalability and you can do that go for it 
but if that is not the case then i would highly suggest you run this one just another thought maybe if you are good at kubernetes and because it's a docker image maybe we can create um some sort of de kubernetes deployment around it and then maybe use something like aws eks or uh, azure eks or google gke or maybe our own on prem kubernetes and run this marco there so the options are really unlimited and that is the beauty of this um field especially ai that you know it is so flexible and we have plenty of tools on our disposal anyway that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about marco i really like it and i think it is from my own country from australia i believe this the founders are from there i'm not sure maybe correct me if i'm wrong but i think i read somewhere so really good stuff coming out of down under if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching